Welcome back to Stealth Security. In today's video, we are going to look at the Explosion Box. This box is part of the Very Easy Boxes and Hacked Box. As you know, we are doing a walkthrough of uh, all the easy boxes. I've started the Pawn Box as well as the Target Machine. Let me copy the IP address. So the first thing I'm going to do, as usual, is to check and make sure that uh, I have access to the target. Let's do a ping command. Great. I can access the target. Let me start with an nmap scan. And the scripts. And some verbosity. And the IP. Let's see what we can find. Okay, there are some open ports. 135, 445, 139, 3389. Okay, 3389 is RDP, which is interesting. Okay, we have our results. As we saw before, these ports are open. We have much more information about port 3389, which is RDP. Microsoft Terminal Services, this is kind of the older name for RDP. RDP is Remote Desktop Protocol. So what RDP does is it helps you to log into a target machine the same way a regular user would. So this will give you complete access to a system using the graphic user interface. We have seen boxes where we gain access using SSH, but this is the uh, GUI way of gaining access to a machine. Let's uh, look at the questions. You can see that I've answered some questions. This is because I was recording a previous video where uh, the system kind of crashed. So let's quickly look at the answers. What is the three-letter acronym RDP stands for? It's Remote Desktop Protocol. What is the three-letter acronym that refers to interaction with the host through a command line interface? It's CLI, Command Line Interface. What about Graphical User Interface? It's GUI. What is the name of an old remote access tool that came without encryption? When it says without encryption, it's most probably Telnet. And yeah, Telnet is at 23. What is the name of the service running on port 3389? Let's go and check it. 3389 is MSWBT server. Okay, what is the switch used to specify the target host IP address when using X3 RDP? So X3 RDP is a command line tool. It'll help us to connect to a Windows machine using RDP and uh, the graphic user interface will be streamed to a terminal. So that's what we're going to see in this video. So let's check if uh, X3 RDP is installed. Yes, it's installed and uh, you can see some help commands. So the way you connect to another server using X3 RDP is using slash in the flag. Okay, so slash P is for password. Slash U is the username. Slash V is for the IP address and the port. Okay, this is an example. Okay, so what is the switch used to specify the target host IP address? It's slash V. Okay, so what username successfully returns a desktop projection to us with a blank password? Okay, so whenever we come across RDP, the best thing to do is we can check with some uh, default users. So if you are working with a Linux server, it's usually root uh, will be the default, whereas in Windows, it will be admin or administrator. So let's go ahead and try administrator and see if we can access it without a password. X3 RDP, the IP address. So if you don't specify any username, X3 RDP will take the default username. So we're going to specify the username as administrator. Let's see if this works. You trust the certificate? Yes. Okay, let's try a blank password. Great, we are in. So, the graphic user interface of the target is being streamed to our terminal and uh, we can perform all the actions exactly like a regular user. Let me close this. Okay, and here is our flag. Okay, I've copied the flag. I can also look around in the mission to see if there is anything interesting. Okay, I have access to this PC. Okay, so I'm the admin of the system, so I have complete access, I can do whatever I want. So this is very important to understand because whenever you're setting up some services like RDP, 
you should make sure that uh, there are some passwords and proper authentication methods. If there are weak configuration in services like this, it's very easy to gain access. So let me answer the question. What username? It's administrator. Okay, and the root flag. Okay, explosion has been pawned. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think this video was useful, do share it with your friends. And as always, like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you soon with a new box.